cannot make this stuff up, bro. You cannot make this stuff up at all, man. This is crazy. You cannot make this up, man. Oh my God, welcome, man. This is your boy Ace, y'all, man. This is this is amazing, man. But uh, this is your boy Ace. Welcome to After News Delight, man. Uh, I can't believe this. I first of all, first of all. This decision was so late that I didn't even get word of this that until I watched the broadcast, that's actually how I found out. I didn't look anywhere on social media or anything like that to get any updates that Abby Steiner was going to be on the 4x100 team. First of all, that was shocking. Uh, uh, Alea Hobbs, she couldn't compete because uh, I think she came out with COVID or something, so they, they ruled her out. And I didn't even know Abby Steiner was in the pool. So I expected Abby Steiner to have run a 4 by 400 which she could still run in the finals tomorrow. We'll see if they put her on the team. I think they need her. I hope they do put her on the team. I hope they put her and Sydney McLaughlin on the team so we can see them run together in the same race. Uh, I think that would be epic, but I don't know what they're going to do that. Um, but I expected to see her in that pool. I didn't think she was even in the 100-meter pool, but Abby did say she, she – Abby – Abby did say in her interview on Thursday, she said she'd be ready for either one. Like, if they ask her to be in it, she said she'll be ready. Uh, she says the legs aren't affecting her that much to not be in that race. So, uh, she wasn't lying about that. And, man, oh, man, did it make a difference, man. And, uh, wow, guys. Wow. Let, let me give you all the results here before I get into it, man. Uh, it, it was a uh, United States finish with a 41.14. For the world lead, uh, Jamaica had a 41.18. That was a season best for them. And Germany had also a season best at 42.03 coming up on the podium in third. So Germany had a nice night, man. Uh, my surprise here was that they beat Great Britain and they beat Nigeria. I thought those were two teams that had a really good chance to get on the podium. Uh, Swiss Berlin was a, like an outside shot, too. Spain had a really good um relay last night so i said man if they looking like that maybe they'll get on the podium so germany did their job man germany uh lunkin kemper man that's the that's the girl right there she she does her thing man for real uh but i really thought nigeria was going to be on there that's favor of philly's team by the way and uh chukwoma too uh i, I really thought they was going to be up there and then great britain with dina asher smith and daryl netta especially daryl netta's time so that's what i'm gonna get into too so let, let me get into to the summary that I'm going to get into. Like, I'm going to do a longer video with Abby Steiner next. But, um, you know, let's just get into the um, uh, what happened. So, like, you know, uh, Melissa Jefferson did her thing against Kimba Nelson. Kimba Nelson and Elaine Thompson Hurrah had a rough exchange. Uh, and I think just the order for Jamaica is really what affected them. Because Sharika Jackson should have either been second or third, in my opinion. Uh, she, and usually the second leg is, is for the long distance runners like because it's a, I think it's like 120 meters around the track and so it really should have been uh, Elaine Thompson Rod did not have a good 200 this year I thought it should have been Sharika there somebody that knows how to run that 200 meters should have been there and J if Jamaica just made that switch they probably would have won this race to be honest with y'all but man the US man look Melissa Jefferson started us so good that Abby Steiner with a 9.86, bro, a 9.86. And I had these, you know what's funny about the night? And Twanisha Terry TT had a 9.88. What's funny to me is that, uh, th see, this is the funny thing for me. I talked about this last night. And, bro, I talked about this last night, bro or the last couple of days with the Jamaicans. They were sleeping on Abby Steiner so hard, but they saw a preview of what Abby Steiner is, bro. And a lot of them kept thinking it was a race thing why Abby Steiner got hyped up or whatever. I said, no, you're not. You never really watched her collegially, did you? You didn't watch her in high school. You didn't watch her collegially. You didn't watch her at the Nationals. Because you wouldn't be saying none of the stuff you're saying. Like, bro, we tried to tell you she had dead legs the other night. Now, I don't even know how she did this on dead legs. I don't even know. 9.86. This is the fastest I've seen her really run in the 100 meters. I'm like, 9.86? Do you guys know how great that was? That was close to Fred Curley. She had the third fastest time in the field. Only Sharika Jackson, 9.66, and Daryl Netta's um, 9.57 was faster. 
she had the third best. I think she was tied with uh, uh, Nawaka Choa, but I don't know. I don't know what the uh, individual uh, times were though for them. So I don't know who who got the edge on that one. But they're tied for third. But uh, that was crazy from Abby Steiner. And then Jenna Prandini, who I'm really proud. Of. I'm about to do a video on her next, real quick. Jenna Prandini, man, I'm so proud of her, man, because she missed the final, bro. I just, I couldn't stop thinking about Jenna Prandini because more, I thought about her more than Abby Steiner because of the fact that she didn't make the final and she ran angry. And Abby ran angry too. They they were, I think Abby, man, is taking it personal against the Jamaicans, man. I think she really wanted to beat them. And uh, she went out there and ran angry, bro. But they got to continue to use this as motivation, man. And, and how about TT, man? TT against Sharika Jackson. That was one hell of a race between those two. Uh, Sharika did catch up, though. Uh, but it, it just wasn't enough because her team was behind. And it really should have been Shelly Ann Frazier Price who finished the race, man. But uh, that's that's crazy, man. I, I would have never thought I would have seen anything like this, though, man. But crazy stuff man let me know in the comment section what y'all thought of this race man this was crazy man um give this video a like man hit that like button for me uh uh share the video subscribe to the channel it um like i said if y'all got any comments let me put them below and if you want to donate to the channel hit the thanks button below y'all i'm gonna see y'all in the next video thank you for watching after news the light